Happy Friday, everyone. I haven't brushed my hair. And welcome to this week's vlog. <laughs> come on, Baba! Yeah, I know, you want to come in. Oh! Look at this. <sighs> Who knows if Weston's going to run tomorrow? Who blimmin' knows, Ted Ted? Welcome to the Western. Western Park regional final vlog. So for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically my qualifier to get to Babington Grassroots next year. And I feel sick about it. I've been nervous since Wednesday. Well, probably before that to be fair. It's now the Friday and we thought we'd come the day before to walk the course. So we're in the lovely park as we speak. It's beautiful because we've got a busy day tomorrow, haven't we? Yep, we're taking two. We've got Lara and Dee both in the 90. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know how much talking there's going to be in this vlog because <laughs> I'm very nervous. Might just be lots of silences. Just lots of <sighs> sighs. But yeah, we'll walk the course and take some video of that and then catch up with you in the car on the way home, shall we? Yes. Good idea. Because not gonna lie, I'm getting out of breath walking and talking. <laughs> so let's hope for and a big a, fat a beefy way. cross country. Yeah, yeah, it's normally like a six minute track here, so that's good. So we're hoping it's up to height and yep. um, technical as they can make a 90. Yes, because really can't really rely on my dress up and show jumping scores now, can we? Well, well cross country. Yes, yeah, so we used to, um, in fact we came here because we thought, oh, dress side is lovely. It used to be miles yeah, away. Yeah, it did. Really quiet, but no. They've moved it next moved to the it. cross country <laughs> and the show jumping's next to the cross country. Well, that's an interesting spin and on things. And quite sensible, it? but Lara so much as smells a cross country fence and you've lost her. So yeah, it's going to be fun. But we'll yeah, walk the course yeah, and report chat back. in the car. The dressage. Not ideal. Cross country. <laughs> dressage. Oh dear. Lara's gonna have a fit. <laughs> Mum? Oh, sorry, it's a telly Oh, there you are. And a B over there. Oh, I've blew and lost mum again. Oh! <laughs> There you are! Which is which? <laughs> yeah, I cannot tell. <laughs> that is cute to be fair. I do like a womble. Right, here's B. <laughs>
Really? Yeah. Much later than we thought. Much, much later. Really. A long time. It's been a bit stressful in the car because I had to post my Olympia meet and greet release and it's just been stressful, hasn't it, Mum? Internet was not on my side. Makes me very stressful. But I'm fine now. I am fine. Horse is lovely, but just not not very big. Not very big or technical, is it? No. But it is only a 90, so you sort of think, how big and technical and I think can they must make it? Complacent. Oh, God, no. No. No, but it is lovely. Really, really nice course. It's probably my favourite place. Yeah. My favourite event. Stunning sitting, it's, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely parkland. And yeah. just really long as well. Yeah. So I'm hoping, we don't actually know how long it is, but I'm guessing it'll be about six minutes because it took so long to walk. Oh, that's why it's taken us so long. We're, we're running now, running really, really late. We're behind. really late. It's 5 30, we've got two ponies to bath and oh two lorries to pack. I know what you're thinking. Why not take <laughs> two ponies in one lorry? And yes, that would be what most normal people do. However, our mares are incredibly annoying. Should we get tea from that van, Mick? Sorry. <laughs> oh. Sorry, so yeah, our girls, um, they're just going to ruin it. They will just ruin it. So I'm taking D in the little lorry and mum is going to follow 20 minutes behind with Lara in the big lorry. And then park as far away as possible. And we're not going to tell them that they're both there. So the plan is, neither of them know they've both gone to Western Park. Let's hope it works. We just trick them. So yeah, Becky's coming with me in the little lorry to help. How come you get Becky? Because I'm I, i I'm riding. Oh, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I need Becky to help me get on D when we get there. Yeah. But I know people are going to be like, that's so extravagant taking two lorries. Yes, it is. You're not wrong. But I've thought about this. I don't get anything delivered online nothing so lorries never come to me so if people are worried about the environment this is you know i never get an asos delivery do i mum no i don't have time to go on asos no time no. so think of all the asos lorries you've had and we come need, out to you we don't need any nice clothes we never go anywhere <laughs> yeah so that's that's the plan and it's happening yeah so we're gonna give them um, yeah to give the girls their best chance. exactly i've only got one regional final so we just thought it's not worth them screaming to each other and ruining their dressage tests and everything. Probably still happen, I'll probably still ruin my dressage test. Yeah, we'll probably should have taken them in one lorry. Yeah, one but we're giving ourselves the benefit of the doubt. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? it oh, it's nice a huge to pain. Together. I'd much rather just take them in that big lorry. But it's, just, it's a one-off and we just thought, give us the best chance. We'll try it this time. And yeah, it doesn't we'll work, next time we'll just think, little cretins but yeah. that's the joy of having mares that are absolute best mates and think the world's gonna end if they're separated yeah. when they're at an event they're fine at home in fact they're fine when you go to lessons but for some reason at an event they just get over excited they mess around so it's gonna be you and becky for the blog in the morning Me and becky. i don't know how much they'll be that's true we'll see i honestly feel so nervous which is ridiculous because it's 90. i'm not nervous about a course or anything I'm nervous about doing something stupid which I am renowned for well we'll keep everything crossed everybody no, keep everything crossed I need to not cry too much if I don't qualify we'll try again next year yeah it's not first time I'm 80 I should get there again yeah. maybe it's gonna hurt falling off at fence nine when I'm 80 isn't it Ooh. yeah no I might not be around I'm with you mum <laughs> when you're 80 Touch wood, you're only I'm gonna be a hundred and something. That is a bit old to be studying up at Badmington. How much older am I? Be about 28 years. That? Well, because it's true. Maybe so. <laughs> do the math. Well, I don't even want to do this anymore. So that's where we are. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a nice day. It's not gonna rain. So it's gonna be fine. We walked of course to the lovely lady. Yeah. It's, gonna it is going to be alright. We've got a good chance. I've just got to believe in myself and yeah. what will be will be. It's not the end of the world. We've got next year. Yeah. And the year after that. And the year after that. And the year after that. Until you get to about yeah. 50. Old. I think I'd do older than 50. Yeah, I think so. Until you get to about 60. I hope you guys are still here when I'm 50 watching the vlogs. And I'd be about 88. That is pretty old. 
But someone could push me around. I could have one of those mobility scooter things. You could. Should we just do that? Should we just wait till I'm 15 and do it then? We'll just keep trying. See what happens. See you in a few hours. 38 years. (laughs) No. (laughs) Is it 28 years till I'm 50? It blimmin' is. It's not 38 years, it's 28 years because I'm 22. You're nearly 23. So it's 27 years. Well, I'm not 23 yet. I'm 22. Oh my lord. (laughs) I've just lost 10 years of my life. This has been a rubbish vlog. Right, I'm going to go and bath the ponies pack the lorries. Show them to Sally. Fly, Cobby! Where is she? There she is. Oh, they're so naughty. Sally! They are And Jammy, what are you doing? Oh, they're off again. Oh, that's a speedy cob. That is a speedy cob. Lightning! Oh, well, at least we've had some action in the vlog. This is why people don't like youngsters. Oh, here's Becky. <laughs> Hello. Becky, you're on the vlog. Hi. We literally have moved a muscle. Until now. <laughs> right. See you in the morning, bright and early. Quick update. Even though I said goodbye in the last bit, but shock, I'm back. So, yeah, it's been manic packing the lorry, bathing all sorts. Becky was here till like 6.30 picking out stud holes for me, the little angel. Becky, if you're watching, thank you very much. Look at Dee, she's all snuggled up in her little flamingo shires rug. Well, it's actually theirs, but you're borrowing it for a night because it's brand new and hopefully you can't get poo on your neck through a waterproof rug. So yes, all bathed questionable how clean they'll be because it was pitch black when we did it i need to re-rug you my little princess um so it's about quarter to nine now but i've got to stay out here and clean this yard up because it's disgusting i've got like this weird thing that if i come out the morning of a competition and the yard's gross just puts me in a really bad mood so i'm gonna stay out here sweep up should be in for nine hopefully which was gonna be when i wanted to go to sleep and i've not eaten yet um but hopefully i'll just eat fall straight to sleep wake up and qualify two ponies for badminton pma guys positive mental attitude so yeah i will see you in the morning early 4 30 out on the yard i think so get up at just after four please qualify meg please hey Dee Dee, you could do it for me, please. Okay, see you in the morning. Wish me luck. Please wish me luck. Ah, see you bright and early, guys. Au revoir for now. Good morning. I have no idea if that's on front camera or not. Yes, it is. There's a bit of light from the feeding. Today's the day, guys. Today is the day. And I've just walked through a spider web on my face. So it's not looking good, is it? Morning, girls. Mum's making feeds. Get platting them both. Teddy, you're not coming, but can you send good vibes? Because you did well at Weston last year. <laughs> Covered in shavings. Did you sleep all right, Deirdre? Should we get you breakfast? Ooh, don't knock my tea. Breakfast time. Look what this pony's done, even with a neck rug on. I don't even know how you've done that, Dee. Lara is immaculate, and she's not even got a neck rug. Let's get a good look at that. So glad we bathed you at 8 o'clock last night, Dee. Okay, we are almost ready to leave. Lara's all flattered. Becky is somewhere behind there. She's done a very good tail plait on Lara, so I'm very pleased. Dee Dee is over here and plaited. Dee, come on. No one wants to talk. Good girl. 
So yeah, we're loading Lara up in the big lorry because mum's realised she can't put the ramp up by herself, so we're going to have to get at the same time. So we'll see them off. She's off to get fuel, and then Becky and I will be away with Dee in the small lorry. Yay! <laughs> Yeah. Oh. So it's about half past six. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Pull the blue lorry forward and load Dee Dee. Can't see anything. Thank you. Come on then, Deirdre. And the scary bags. There, Meg. Better be that. <laughs> We're here! Yay! 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 I feel so sick. Pretty good journey, wasn't it, Becky? It's alright. You've got no complaints. So, I hope. None whatsoever. Excellent. Good girl, Dee Dee. Made it safe and sound. I'm going to go and get my numbers. Becky's going to give Dee a little graze and a wonder. And we'll uh, get to dress out. Okay, got its numbers, passports are all checked. Two goodie bags. Oops, I think there's mugs in there, how exciting. So go and uh, get ready for dressage now.
Good luck! Quick vlog, changing to Lara, prim and proper again. D basically went terribly. She didn't go you in that later. She did a nice test. D's not going to badminton. So now it's all on Cobb. Look at Becky's tail plait. Beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, got to go.
Dutch bomb then runs through the water at six. Last two to go, South Bremerton, Winnebago, Corchester still going on base. Heading home with two unqualified horses. Basically show jumping has been the absolute death of me today. So yeah, not good. So close, but so far. Oh, do you need a hand, Becky? We'll catch up when we get home. Back home, safe and sound. Two lorries are there. And two ponies up there grazing um yeah shattered i'm gonna ride out with becky on oh, becky's horse indy and i'll take one and then i think i'll update you tomorrow because i feel so deflated now it'll be easier to just do it tomorrow plan hello again long time no see i suppose for you guys you don't actually know how long it's been because you're just watching it as a video but i'm ashamed to say that it is Oh, it's nearly two weeks after Western. Not quite, but nearly. It's Thursday, a week and a half after. Uh, yeah, it obviously didn't go to plan. Um, I was really, really reluctant to actually get on and do this video to edit and to film like an outro bit because honestly, I was so heartbroken by it all. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we'll talk about that more later anyway um but i've just waited this length of time because if i'd done it the day after i would have been like teary and just not making any sense and then if i'd done it a few days after i'd have been angry and in denial and just <laughs> stroppy about it so i feel like i've waited an appropriate amount of time so that i'm a bit sort of removed from the situation if you like now and I can actually start sort of looking at positives from it and moving forwards because I didn't think you know there was no point of me putting up a eight minute clip of me sobbing and feeling sorry for myself because that's not who we are on this channel guys it's positive mental attitude on this channel so I've picked myself up and we're gonna discuss it like adults okay dressage let's start I mean the the whole format of the day, there won't be much footage because it was manic. Like all of my bits on D were done before Lara, but they were really like bang, bang, bang. I had no time between to vlog. Literally, I got back from dressage untacked, went, went to jumping, you know, so on, so on. So there won't be much vlogging, which is probably for the best. <laughs> dressage, D was, D was nice. I, looking back on the footage, I am so tense. So I feel like I really, really let the test down a bit because d was actually being such a sweetheart that's who i'm riding now by the way um but i just really let it down i could see my shoulders are like hunched like that and it's obviously it was obviously just nerves and i didn't realize i was doing it at the time but i definitely was um but she got a 28 point something i can't remember so like pleased with that i didn't actually find it out until after i'd show jumped um so then straight to show jumping mm -hmm. You've probably seen, I don't know whether the footage will show it, but the cross country, no word of a lie, wrapped around the show jumping arena. Like literally they galloped past you on the warm up and then all the way around the arena. So obviously that just completely winds the horses up. Um, and both of my two loving their cross country, it was just a recipe for disaster. I think because the cross country was there and Dee was a bit whizzy, I sort of read that as, oh, calm her down, calm her down. You know, like, don't razz her up at all, get her really, really, really calm. And I just did it too much, and then I just didn't 
she just got so flat in the ring. She was, she felt a bit stuck in the mud, but she was just so flat. I really needed to like razz her up. She just wasn't listening to me. So I was taking a half hole and she was pulling on and then she just got too close. Um, admittedly, it's not all her fault because I was again, really nervous and I just over or under ride when I'm really nervous. So I've got to do a gate. Um, and so I could just, I was just seeing the most ridiculous strides. Back, Didi. Back. Good girl. You're so clever. So, and like, like I was just panicking. I wasn't committing to anything. Ooh. Oh. Oh, come. Ah, oh, yes, it closed. This horse is the best horse at doing gates. Oh, I've got our make. So, yeah, I was just seeing silly strides, not committing, and I mean, the combination of all those things I've just mentioned uh, led to us having two poles down, which I was gutted with. Mainly because this pony is normally really consistent show jumping. Like last season, she didn't have a single pole. Um, and to have two poles in a very small 90, like it was tiny. <sighs> yeah, gutted is an understatement. I ran across country because it was just one of those things I thought you never know. And actually, she and Lara run very well on deep, boggy ground. That's their favourite ground to go in. So I just thought, you know what? It's my last rent of the season. It's not going to do any harm. So we'll pop around there. So she flew around, clear inside the time, and as I knew she would. Okay, back again. Dee finished on her dressage 28 and then two poles and clear um, cross country. So 36. Was that we were on? Yeah, 36 point something. Not a badminton qualifying score. It does not take a genius to realise that you are not going to badminton on that score. <laughs> um, so I was in a bit of a funny mindset when it came to Lara because I'm not going to lie, without sounding really up myself, which I'm not, but I have worked so hard and I know that this horse is so capable. I really thought that Dee was going to get there. Like I was, I was really hopeful that Dee was going to get there. So to have her go first and it'd be so clear she wasn't getting there. I was just like, I didn't really know what to do with myself. So I, I just wasn't, I'd almost, I think sort of internally given up a bit. I was a bit like, you know, Lara's my wild card. Um, D, if D can't get there, Lara can't get there kind of thing. So go down to dressage with Lara. You have to cross the cross country track twice to get to dressage. And it was obviously live at that point. Lara was wild. She reared up at both the crossings. Um, she nearly bucked me off in the warm up. None of this is on film, which is annoying um, because it was such a long walk. Mum and Becky hadn't made it there. So I was careering around the warm up, like no one would come near me. Even the um, steward was like, look, don't come over to me for a bit because she's obviously not gonna stand still and I'm gonna get hurt. So just calm her down and then come and check in. Like I've seen your number kind of thing. So yeah, wild. So like again, that just that just you know snowballed into this feeling of self pity and like lack of belief in myself. So I go in and bizarrely, because Lara never does this, when I went went around the arena, she just went mm, like really chilled, like a like a switch was flicked. She just came back to me. She was really relaxed. She was really attentive, really supple. And normally we do the complete opposite. When I go near the arena, she gets even more wound up. So I was like, oh my God, Lara, like, hello, good girl. So there we are doing my test. I'm sort of like going through like, do you know what? This could, this could be a really good test. Go um, do my half 20 meter circles. Out of nowhere, Lara just trips. Literally out of nowhere, there was, I'm trying to arrange it because I've got a dead arm. There was nothing there. It was flat as a pancake. Like, yeah, it was a bit deep, but it was flat as a pancake. You've already seen it, and I'm going to slow it down and replay it several times so you guys can see what you think happened. Um, I've watched it probably close to a million times now. And I think what happens is she sort of goes to put her foot down and she like goes like that. And then, bless her, she obviously can't put her foot down. And she does really well to stand up. She's really quick with her back feet to pop her forward um so obviously like that is not like for a horse like Lara that really worried her so I stood there like I gave her a little pat even the judge commented on my sheet was like it was so refreshing to see someone actually 
pat their horse and reassure them before just getting straight on with the test. So that was a shining glimmer of hope, I guess. Well, just met the postman while I was vlogging, had to squeeze past him down this lane. I was like, don't mind me. Just put my phone away quickly. Yeah, she, she went on to do such a sweet test, bless her, even with that. And she was she did so well. I was really proud of her for actually you know getting herself back together and continuing because the old Lara would that would have been it I'd have been on the floor because she hates people being off balance on her so I was really really proud of her but obviously it's not ideal for her to fall over in a test I think we got a four for it so go down to jumping with her same story um she was very excited and I just I just didn't have um many breaks to be honest I just need I need to revisit my bitting with her I think um, and we had the smallest fence on the course down. Uh, again, my fault. I couldn't decide on a stride. I know with Lara, if you go for the forward stride, she just guarantees her to have it down. So I was trying to check her and she wasn't listening. And then by that point, we were in a kerfuffle. And so it just came down. Um, annoying though, she actually jumped really nicely. So I was pleased with how she jumped. Um, so then find out my dressage score is 27. Uh, which was really good in this section. D and Lara in different sections, by the way. Ran out cross country, again, just have some fun. She loves the ground, so wanted to have a fun run on my horse. Amazing clear inside the time. They actually finished on the exact same optimum time, which is funny. Um, but lo and behold, uh, what was it, 31. It wasn't a qualifying score. Um, so, yeah, I was absolutely gutted really really gutted obviously me being me i go home and work out where we would have placed without the poles i know they shouldn't really have had because they're both more than capable of going clear um and d would have been second and qualified and lara would have been fourth and also qualified they had to be top eight to qualify because they were really big selections <sighs> so i mean it was a stupid thing to do but i there was no way I wasn't going to do it because I wanted to see how they were in the section. And, you know, they were super competitive. They would have been so close to the top. And Lara's, without the fall in the dressage, the way her marks were going, she probably would have won her section without that because she was getting sort of solid eights at that point. So, yeah, it was really, really, really frustrating. Don't get me wrong, like, I was so upset about it. And I feel bad for like not vlogging more on the day, but I was really busy. And like, I know I pride myself on this channel showing all the highs and lows, and I do try my absolute best to do that. But sometimes like, I'm only human. It, honestly, I could not bring myself to pick up the camera and vlog that day because I was so upset. It really is like the only aim I have with the horses, obviously. I don't have horses that are going to go up to the levels. They're not going to go, you know, like two star, three star, four star. I know that. And, you know, that is, that's what I want to do. I want to compete at this level. But that does mean that there's really only one thing to aim for with them, BE. Like, it's not like I can aim for going up the levels because they're not really capable. They're not built for it. And I'm not really capable. I'm not, not going to paint this picture that if I had these really sporty athletic horses I'd be going four star because I wouldn't I'm not I've not got the balls to do that I don't want to do that um but it does make it that bit harder only having one thing be to aim for at this level so I think that's why it hit home so much because I have been wanting this for so long and obviously falling off with bear it's only made me sort of hungrier to get back so yeah it was just it's just hard when that's like the one thing you want to aim for and it it all goes wrong um but it's it's still my aim i'm still very much determined to get there i've had to start and stop this so many times to do my head in from here it is very much still my aim i am determined to get to badminton 2021 um, but excitingly, me just whining about not having things to aim for, um, BE have announced that they're going to do a Burley 80 championships. So sort of like the Babington one, but at 80 and at Burley. So I'm 
determined now to aim jam at that, but obviously she's only been broken a few months and that'd be for next year. But you know, a girl can dream. So that is something else to aim for with other youngsters. But for Dee and Lara, I really want to get to badminton. Oh, it's annoying it being so far away, but at least next year I'll have a much better chance of getting more regional finals. I mean, that's the trouble this time, only having one, it's just not enough. Not when I get so nervous. So at least with not having uni, not having Canada, not having going to badminton, I'll have a lot more time to get out before June and get some regional finals built up. But the girls, you can probably tell if you were listening closely that Dee doesn't have shoes on now. So she had all of her shoes taken off two days ago. Um, Mum and I just like to do this because it's been proven that it's very, very good for their feet to have a bit of time without shoes. So they tend to have them off well, they always have them off every winter. Um, uh, probably about four months she'll have them off. Obviously cheaper too, so, you know, win-win. Good for their feet and saves your purse strings. Is that a saying? Don't know. Uh, so, yeah, she's having she's had her shoes off and she's just bumbling around for a few weeks. Um, she's going to be turned away and have a really nice long break. Oof. Sorry to get off. Yeah, she's going to have sort of six to eight weeks off she just she just felt so flat no she felt so flat and uh, lackluster at western i think she just needs a really good break she had one last year but not for that long i always like to give them a winter break so decided now we're not going to badminton she can have six to eight weeks off just chilling getting her mojo back and then i'll bring her back up in january sort of time January, February time, and we'll get back back out there eventing. Um, loads of people ask me if Dee's gonna step up to novice. She's not because if she goes novice and gets a point, she can't go to Badminton. And although I think she is a novice horse at some on some tracks, she's not gonna be a really strong novice horse. So Badminton's more her thing than going novice because. It'd be silly going novice for the sake of only being able to do a few easy novice tracks and then not get to badminton if you if you're catching my drift uh yeah and lara is going to she had a break earlier this year obviously so she's not going to have a proper break she'll probably just have a couple of weeks when the weather's bad she's going to join bd do some dressage and then get out eventing next year badminton 2021 whoop, whoop. i hope Imagine the scenes if I don't qualify for that. Then you will be seeing tears. Actual tears. Um, but yeah, sorry this vlog is somewhat deflating. <laughs> I have picked myself back up now and I'm feeling motivated and sort of inspired to get back out there. I'm going to work on my schooling. I'm going to really work on my show jumping because I cannot, I cannot be missing out on these placings because my show jumping is rubbish. So a winter of show jumping lessons and dressage. Hmm? Yeah. D, you are so rude. Everyone's going to tell you off doing that. No. No. Um, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more disheartening stories like mine. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, I will see you very soon. There's going to be lots of fun stuff on my channel this winter. So stay tuned, guys. And thanks for watching. Over and out 2019 event season.